Hi, I'm Pastor Larry Geetz. I'm the visiting pastor here at Christ. Our devotion today is based upon Acts chapter 15, beginning at verse 6. The apostles and elders met to consider this question, and after much discussion, Peter got up and addressed them. Brothers, you know that some time ago God made a choice among you that the Gentiles might hear from my lips the message of the gospel and believe. God, who knows the heart, showed us that he accept, accepted them by giving the Holy Spirit to them, just as he did to us. He made no distinction between us and them, for he purified their hearts by faith. Now then, why do you try to test God by putting on their necks of, of the disciples a, a toe that neither us nor our fathers were able to bear? No, believe it, it is through the grace of our Lord Jesus that we are saved, just as they are. It's always a question that would happen in that early church, and it happens from all the way to this time. And that is that we're taking the gospel to all of these new people. Many of them, most of them are, are not even believers yet. In that time, everybody was restricted to the Jewish faith. In order to become a believer, you had to be a part of the Jewish faith. And that's why then you had to follow all the rules and regulations that they set down, and then you could be part of them. But now you have this problem. Here you have all of these people called Gentiles outside of the Jewish faith, and they're being brought to faith. Now what do you do with them? And the question that Peter had to answer was, should we make them follow all the real rules and regulations of our faith before they are brought to faith, or do we just simply spread the gospel? Peter announces them to say, we spread the gospel. And when God brings them to faith, then we can teach them a lot of things about the Bible. But until that time, we're not going to put that same burden on them that we thought we could put on ourselves and failed miserably. Put this into perspective. Are we here to make people Christians first and then Wells members? Are we going to try to make them Wells first and, and get all caught up in all the doctrines and teachings that we have and, and maybe confuse them? And God says, no, no, no. You first bring them to faith. You spread the gospel to them. You put that seed of faith in their heart and let the Holy Spirit bring them to faith. And then after he has brought them to faith, then we can start teaching them all the doctrines and teachings of our church that are set in the Bible. And that's why so many people are confused that they say, well, I don't know if I can spread the gospel because first I have to tell them all these doctrines and, and I'm not so sure I fully understand them myself. And, and God would say, don't get caught up in this. You spread the gospel. You tell people that Jesus loves them above all things. You plant the this, plant this seed of faith and let the Holy Spirit work. And all of a sudden, spreading the gospel is easy. All I am doing is telling them about Jesus. And all of a sudden, we have a lot more confidence to spread that gospel, to tell people about the, G the life that Jesus Christ gives them. And when we all do this, the Holy Spirit has more opportunity to bring people to faith because we have planted that seed over and over and over again. And all of a sudden, when the Holy Spirit does his work, then they can become Christians. And once they become Christians, then we can teach them all the doctrines of the Bible. So make it simple. Spread the word of God. Spread the gospel first. Make them Christians through that powerful word of God. And then it becomes very easy for us to spread the word. Amen.